Hello booktube! Today I have a review of The Collector by John Fowles. I very much enjoyed this book. I um, sort of finished it in the middle of last month and I'm still thinking about it. Um, it was just a very creepy, brilliant read. I and I'm sort of trying to not put too many spoilers in there because I think like me um, it's best if you don't really know a lot about the book. Um, it tells the story of Fred or Frederick. Um, he's a very withdrawn, um, closed off, shy man. He doesn't really have any social skills. He uh, likes to collect butterflies and take photos and previously he was working in a bank. He's won a large sum of money through the lotto or quick picks or, or whatever the, the equivalent is or was back then. Uh, so he buys a house in Sussex. Uh, and then uses that house to uh, kidnap and keep Miranda who is the girl he's sort of loved from afar for a very long time. She's a young, I think first year college student. She paints and um, so is going to art school. And yeah, basically he, he just, he wants to kidnap her and love her forever, which is very creepy. <laughs> um, and I see I certainly enjoyed the first part of this book more. It's split into two parts. The first half is told from Fred's point of view, the second from Miranda's. And I don't exactly know what it means when I say that I sort of connected more with the creepy dude, but we'll run with it anyway. I just, reading it was just, the writing was so tight and it wasn't, particularly fancy writing or anything but it just everything just made sense and it was there and it was said with purpose I'd, I just really really enjoyed it and I think not saying that the second half wasn't written like that because it was I just think that the, the reason why I didn't enjoy the second half as much was because I didn't like Miranda as a character I um I could sympathize with her for sure but I just, as, as a character, I just didn't connect with her at all. I felt like she was quite, she was very naive. She was very young. Um, not that those are bad things sometimes, but I just, she was just quite ignorant and very whiny and I just really did not like some of her points of view. And I understand, yes, <laughs> that he is... You know, he has kidnapped her and everything. So she has a right to be angry and um, not like her captor. But I just, I don't know. There was just something about that whole dynamic. Um, but yeah, still, still I'm thinking about it. I, 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 mm. I just love the fact that it's just so clean and well written. Today we we live in this age of, and I mean like I don't read a lot of horror books, but the whole Gorno kind of movie where you see everything and it's all just about, you know, chopping somebody's toes off or cutting their jaw out or ripping their eyeball out and leaving it hanging there. <sighs> Movies like Hostel and Saw. 50, what are we up to? Saw 50 now? That's an exaggeration, I know, but you know what I mean. And just this isn't, the horror's real, like that whole, movies like Saw and Hostel don't scare me. Sure, they gross me out, and I'm never visiting any countries that end with Nia, or a Stan, but they're not scary. They don't, there's just no substance to them. Whereas this, this is scary. 
it's not graphic it's not it's not horrifying in that way but it is completely and other utterly horrifying and terrifying and I just you've got to read it you've got to try it because it is really really good writing and I really did enjoy it um, I'm definitely going to check out his other books I know that the French Lieutenant's Woman is on the 1001 list to read before you die so I'm definitely reading that one but I would also like to check out some of his other works as well uh, if you have read it let me know what you think about it in the comments below um, or if you've read any of his other books let me know as well because apart from the French Lieutenant's Woman I would like to know um, what of his I should read next so yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.